It's not uncommon when we have a project, and it could be anything such as an offering memorandum, a brochure, postcard, whatever it is, and you're going to be using text in there, that you may not always have the text available. For instance, the broker hasn't provided that or the client hasn't provided that, but we need to begin laying out our document. One quick, easy, and efficient way that we can do that is by using placeholder text. And there are several different ways to do that here in InDesign. But I particularly like to use them because they save me a lot of time in the long run if I can lay out my document prior to receiving everything and I know how it's going to look as I begin constructing it. Point in case, what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit Control N on my keyboard to create a new document. And for the sake of this demo, let's just say 10 pages, although I'm only going to work on one page and they're not going to be facing, and I'll click OK. So there's my new 10-page non-facing document. And I want to begin constructing this. So I at least have an idea of how it is going to look when I lay it out. Now, instead of using placeholder text, of course, one thing that you could do is come in and use a container but the problem with that is, what are you going to use that container for? For instance, that container could be used for a number of things besides text, let's say like objects or images. So just putting a frame, even if you were using different colors for that frame, is not always the best option. But it may be a good option if you're, you know, going to use placeholder text, then you might be able to use a frame to know where you're going to place your images. So. As you saw when we talked about the first movie in this chapter, Understanding Text Frames, one way that we can use placeholder text is by calling up a Word document file. So let's say if I choose a word place, I'm going to come in here and grab this dummy text document. And this is a Word, Microsoft Word native file. And you can see as I grab it that it shows me some of that text. And if I click and drag, then I can create my text frame and I let go and it places that text. So now if I wanted to use any sort of other frame to just kind of know where my images are going, then I can do that as well. Right. So what I want to do is delete those just for the sake of a demo. Now, another way that I can place placeholder text is to grab my type tool, draw a text frame, right click inside of that frame to bring up my contextual menu, and then down here at the bottom, we'll see that it says fill with placeholder text. Now, here's the thing you wanna keep in mind about filling with placeholder text, is that by default, it is a generic text in Latin America, or Latin English, I should say, um, that is simply lorem and some text and it's mainly just there is placeholder text. You probably don't understand what it says. I know I don't. And to anybody who has never seen it, it may freak them out if, if they see this sort of thing. The other thing to be cautious about is you never want to forget that you put this placeholder text in there or you're going to look pretty silly when you go to the printer to uh, print this document and it has lorem and some text in it. So there is yet another way that we can uh, fill this placeholder text and make it more obvious that it's placeholder text by creating our own placeholder text. What do I mean by that? Well, I don't mean that you necessarily have to come in here, create a text frame, and then just start you know, typing gitterish in there. That would just take too long and it's kind of pointless. So what we can do, if I delete those, I'm going to minimize my application for a second and then browse to my Adobe InDesign CS5 application folder. And that is typically located under Program Files, Adobe, Adobe InDesign CS5. So once I browse to that, I guess I should back up and say the first thing that you want to do is get the text that you want to use for placeholder text. Now, it can be anything. Maybe it's text that you used in a previous version, but what I like to do is make it, make a file, placeholder file, that has text that is easily identifiable. But the way that I do it may not be the way that you want to do it. For instance, maybe you want to see paragraphs or you want to have, you know, 500 words inside of your text file because you want to make sure that 
that if you were creating text frames that are joined together and where your text can bleed into another frame, then you might do it a little bit differently than I'm doing here. But what I've done for this is I just simply created a text file. So I used Notepad here in, in Windows. And I just typed Stevens placeholder text, a brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. That's just a one sentence placeholder text. And I named it placeholder.txt. And that's important if you're going to do it this way. It's got to be called placeholder.txt. And we are just going to drop that file into our main Adobe InDesign CS5 application. And once it's in there, we can bring back Adobe InDesign. Now let's say if I create a text file and I right click to bring up the contextual menu. Now I'm gonna choose the same thing I chose just a few minutes ago with fill with placeholder text. But now you can see, now that I've done that, it, it shows the text hold, the text that I typed into the text file. Stevens placeholder text, the brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So, but you can see that it just repeats itself all the way, all the way to the end of the text frame. So what if I create another text frame? And then I get to that point where I want to link those together. I can easily do that. And now these are linked. So if I want to fill this with placeholder text, I can do that. But if they were linked prior to that, so that wasn't really a good example. So let me do this. I'm going to create two text frames and we are going to right out of the gate link these two frames together then come down and fill with placeholder text. So yes it'll link to another text frame but you don't have the paragraphs in there. So maybe you'll just create a single paragraph with word that's easily identifiable. But the point is, is that when I look at this, I know right out of the gate that this doesn't belong there. And I'm going to have to replace it before my file is over. But again, if we are creating a large document like this InDesign document, and we want to real quickly yet efficiently come in here and start laying out how our um, document is going to look, then we can come in here, just drop frames, and then I might go to page two, and let's say this is just going to be filled with text, and then page three, and so forth and so forth, but you get the point.